Hey guys, welcome to the 17th video of my series on regex in Python and in the last video we saw the concept of look ahead and now in this video we're going to talk about the concept of look behind in regular expressions. So just like look ahead will check um, the match for your non-consuming expression ahead of the pattern, uh, look behind will actually check the match for a non-consuming expression behind the given pattern. So basically um, in look ahead let's say you are you were trying to find all the matches for love which were followed by regex so love was your uh, actual expression and regex was your uh, non consuming expression and you were putting it uh, like a look ahead right so it was a look ahead for you so you just put question mark equal to and then you write regex but now if you want to find uh, let's say um, in this example let's say you want to find all the matches for regex but it should be followed by love or hate. So it should be either love or hate. So basically you are trying to match regex. Like here. There are three times we have regex here. But we want regex only if it is preceded by love or hate. So that is what we want to look for. So if you want to want to search for a non-consuming expression before your actual expression. Then we use the concept of look behind. And positive look behind will succeed if the non-consuming expression is actually matching. Whereas negative look up behind will succeed if the non consuming expression is not matching. So let us try to take a look at this example. So now right now what I need to do here is that I want to find a match for regex in the given text only if it is succeeded by love or hate. So how do I do that? I will have to write a pattern. Pattern is equal to re dot compile. So now here I will have to write a pattern. So first of all, what do I need to search for regex? Now it can be followed by love or hate. So it can be followed by love or hate. And now I will have to write some non consuming expression for it, which will act as a look behind. So the, the syntax is you put a question mark less than symbol equal to, and then you write your expression. So question mark, question mark less than equal to. So this is the um, syntax for positive look behind. And now you can write your expression. So my expression actually is going to be um, so it can be either love or hate so I can use alteration and then I have to put slashes because I also want to consider that space between hate regex or love regex right so considering everything I have written this expression and let us try to see if it works or not pattern dot or let me highlight just highlight regex matches pattern text okay look at that we have got the solution so love regex is being highlighted, hate regex is being highlighted, but ignore regex is not being highlighted. Why? Because behind regex, uh, we only want uh, we only want to search for we want to search for only those regex matches where we have love or hate before it. So we are using positive look behind. So this is how easy positive look behind is. And now let me give an example of negative look behind. So let's assume that I want to find a match for regex in the given text only if it is not followed by love or hate. So it should not be followed by love or hate. Only then I want to use it. So I can just copy it and I can just turn it into a negation by putting um, an exclamation sign instead of equal to sign. So exclamation not equal to just check uh, if it is equal to or not. Right. So that is the difference between these two. So let us check it out. Highlight rejects matches pattern text and uh, look at that only this regex is being uh, matched because it is not having love or hate before it right these had love or hate these regex have love or hate before them that's why they are not a part of our match output because we have specified here we have specified a look behind here so look behind basically before matching the actual expression which is regex look behind the regex and check if it is being um, succeeded um, after love or hate and space so that is what we are doing here so yeah so this is how uh, look behind works in the last video we also saw look ahead how, how look ahead works and both combined make the concept of look around so we have understood how look around works so i hope the concept of look around is clear and if you still have any doubts you can put them in the comment section below that's it from this video thanks for watching